morning welcome back to my channel um, we are here today in sunny Tilston Fernal which is a village just outside Tarpley in Cheshire in the northwest of England so a customer today a uh, family member I've had these electric gates installed they've got a big project going on they've had a couple of buildings um, put up um, so today so this fence line was gonna was put in already this driveway is getting getting done uh, all we're doing today is connecting these sides um, don't see the point the customer doesn't see the point in putting a gate in when you you already have electric gates for security so we're gonna be attaching some rails onto this metal post and then to this wooden post three rails again and the same on the other side and finish it off they're having some hedges put in there to follow that on um, so yeah we're just putting side wings on um, and yeah blocking it all in let's get cracking and just like that we are back in the van forecast is shocking for the next week 10 days so this is going to be a bit of a trend bit of a trend absolutely soaking already but hey ho gotta love the british weather So today we're going to be using these Easy Drive hex screws. Um, now the claim is that they will go through five millimeters of steel. Um, now judging by the, the hole there, uh, if you can see it on the top, just measured it and it is five mil. So, so these are um, the hex screws, the Easy Drive. Um, now they do drill themselves apparently I've used these before on um, uh, farm roofs you know the sheet metal roofs uh, and they are very good um, but for this thickness of steel um, we shall see but I wish I'll give one a go just pre-drilling itself uh, and if it struggles I'll pile a hole and then finish it off with this but yeah so we'll see how we get on So what I need to do is find the height that I want my uh, piece of timber that I'm attaching to the post to be. So what I've done is got a long level, um, longer than the gap itself, got ourselves level, there we go, it's hard to do this one handed, got ourselves level and then put a mark underneath the level there you may just see a faint pencil mark so that's the level i want the piece of timber that's attached to the post i'll do the same on the other side of the gates uh, and then i'll do the same i'll measure the distance once it's attached and there's a distance from the top down to the bottom of the top rail and keep going down from the bottom of the top rail to the top of there and then i'll just square them up going across Should be ready now to go through. Just need to find the hole that we've. There we go. So it's cut through the metal, it's through the wood. And there we go, solid. Let's tighten them up. Uh, that's not going anywhere, that's solid to the post. 
So now we've got that rail attached to um, our metal column. And because of the way the fence is configured, and because of the way the posts for the gates have been put in, there's no real... I can't hang off here because the half rounds will be facing this way. So what I'm doing is I'm detailing this out of each round as we go down. So literally cutting this out. So cutting the profile out of the round. So when we actually go to fix, that will be our corner fixing, like so. Just tidies it up, keeps me square. So our end will be like that, and it'll be like that. So it looks nice and secure from the front. I'll get them fixed in now. So just got it clamped there to the top, the rail. So, I mean, I could just get the nail gun out. Uh, but I don't see the point. This is under no pressure really, so. We'll just fire some uh, 70 mil KTX screws through. So that's secure on there. Unclamp it there, and we'll do the same on the other side. But I haven't got enough hands, so I'm gonna have to turn you guys off. So there we have it, this side done. So we've got nice tight fixings in there. Oh good, I used KTX um, 70 mil screws. Could have got the nail gun out, didn't see the point. Um, and we've used the self-tapping hex heads um, to go through the, the five mil steel post that holds the gate. So we'll go around the other side. And that's what we're looking like. So we've cut the profile out of the, the rails so we cut this, this profile out on this rail, on each one, just because they weren't, they weren't lining up right. So it's difficult to, to get it lined up, just because they were both put in separately. So, uh, you know, one wasn't made to fit the other, so we've just made it fit. So there we have it. And in these two fixings in there, that's solid now, that's not gonna go anywhere. Absolutely solid, so yeah, all good. Let's get on with the other side. So I've just whizzed through this side, same process, same process as the other side. All nice and neat, nicely attached to the steel gate columns, everything fixed, everything secure. All to do now, get the tools tidy, cleaned, packed away, and then we'll have a look at the final view. So the gates are closed now just driven back from the sensors so if you look at this so this is the, what we've done on the sides here just the side section so we cut the profile out of the um, the half round rails we attached the 3088 uh, timber to the steel posts we've done the same this side so everything's level everything's secure again the profiles cut out on the sides there secure there so this is what we're looking like from the back. Them two sides were open. So now I'll just drive through, allow the gates to shut, then we'll have a look what it looks like from the front. So now, there we go, both sides from the front, gates are closed, everything's nice and secure until the hedges grow up the sides, which is what's gonna happen here. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but yeah, we're filled in them side panels either side of the gates, electric gates, everything secure, tied in the fence, everything done. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching guys, until the next time, take care.